Hyung Choi. Joel Patton. Francis Scarponi. Still Park.
Kizzy Young. Sukong Chung. Marie Lee.
Jeremy Perlman. Monica Newman. Adolfo Cyrus. John Allen.
Ulisa Johnson. Rio Mizuno. Tara Kondraki.
Tran. Nicholas Anderson. Marijuana. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for all our designers. Kyung Choi. Joel Patton. Francis Scarponi. Kiso Park. Kizzy Young. Sukong Chung. Marie Lee, Jeremy Perlman, 
Monica Newman. Adolfo Cyrus. John Allen. Yulisa Johnson. Rio Mizuno. Tara Kondraki. Ben Tran. And Nicholas Anderson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the chairman of the menswear department, Professor Al Arena. It takes a great deal of hard work and dedication to put a show like this together. And nobody deserves more credit than these fledgling designers. They deserve a tremendous hand. There are many other people to be thanked, especially all of the menswear instructors, with a very special thanks, <clears throat> excuse me, to Mark Blackman for all of his unselfish help. And thanks also to Marsha Vina for all of her help. <laughs> I would like to call to the stage at this time Professor Juliana Fetter. Juliana Fetter has always gone beyond the call of duty to help all of the menswear students with their knitted projects. And believe me, she goes way beyond the call of duty. Nicholas, since you gave her the most trouble, I think perhaps you should provide. Professor Fetter, this award is from getting too old. This award is from the men's rare class. We appreciate your time and effort with everything that you gave us and during our knits and sweaters and everything. We were very fortunate this year to have the well-known and esteemed designer Ron Chereskin as our critic. He has done a wonderful job and deserves much applause for all of his hard work with all of uh, our designers, helping them, guiding them, uh, and as you saw the end product, very successfully. Ron, I would like you to step up and say a few words. <laughs> <laughs> well, to me, this was a great experience. I want to thank FIT and Ms. Professor Rena because I really enjoyed myself, I think, even more than the students. I had a blast. Their energy, their spirit, their creativeness was just overwhelming, which makes me nervous. I'm going to have competition out there. <laughs> uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful time for me. Uh, I was very concerned. It came off beautifully. I wish we had 17 awards because it was magnificent. Thank you. The award, my award, is going to Ki Young Choi for our creativeness. <laughs> You deserve it.
It's too soon. <laughs> Roger, on behalf of the entire menswear department, a small token of our gratitude. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you. Now I would like to present the Chairman's Award to the lovely, talented, Kizzy Young. Before we end our night with a reception, I would like to thank the following agencies for sending models for consideration. ANS, Asia Models, Thompson Models, WDI, and ICON. And a, a, a bit, very great big thanks to all of the models who give us their time free.
not positive. But, uh, and most rayon has to be dry clean, so that was a reason to establish a, uh, um, a new generic name. So if no generic name for a manufacturer has been established uh, or otherwise recognized by the commission prior to the fiber's marketing, the manufacturer or producer may file a written application with the commission requesting the establishment of a generic name for the fiber in accordance with Rule 8 in the Textile Fiber Products Identification Act. Now, if a fiber is recognized by the ISO standard but is not listed in Rule 7 of the textile rules, the company is no longer required to petition the commission for recognition of the fiber name. So if it's recognized by the ISO, even though it's not listed in Rule 7 of the textile rules, it's incorporated by reference um, by the FTC as a generic name. And um, the ISO standard 2076 is currently being revised and when finalized, uh, the commission indicates that it will amend the textile rules to incorporate the new standard. So there may be more um, uh, uh, alternative generic names. Yes? I believe there's a, there's a list of those ISO facilities on their website. On the ISO? There, yeah. The, um, I, I think that's right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have the, um, the address of uh, the? Oh, uh, of the, yeah. Yeah, I actually, I have some of uh, the alternative ones. Okay, I'm, yeah. No, I know I have. Mm -hmm. I included, I think, some generic fibers. There were actually, I didn't include all of them because it actually ran, it's 26, 26 pages or something of additional um, manufactured fibers, I think. So I, uh, I just gave the first page or so of it. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, the commission has... Uh,